Next up in vi crime victimization is a very short lesson. It's called deviant place theory. Now you notice the word deviant it has the word devil in it. So it obviously has like a bad connotation. So this is the idea that you go to a bad place, you're going to be victimized crime. It's kind of similar to lifestyle, except that lifestyle is much more of like you're living a certain way and therefore you're likely to be victimized. Deviant place means you've, you've visited a place that's bad. So there is some overlap here. All right. Um, one, the idea of just wrong taste, wrong place, wrong time. Um, you know, you just happen to be at a place that might be relatively safe, but then you were at the exact time when someone who's a criminal was there and then you get victimized. You know, you think of a victims of Ted Bundy happened to be at a grocery store at exactly the time that he was there and uh, they got victimized as a result of that. Um, so that can happen. That's rare, but it can happen. Um, also, visiting dangerous places increases the likelihood of being a victim. Now, we talked about this with the lifestyle. Um, you know, if you make it a habit of it, that's going to happen. But also just like, you know, you you get off the highway on the wrong road and end up in a very dangerous place or you're just naive and you're visiting a big city and you don't know where the dangerous places are and you end up there. Um, that makes it more likely that you'll be a victim of crime. Um, if you live in an area that has high crime, so you got to be real careful. You need to look at things like when you move somewhere um, and what the high crime rate is. Now, sometimes you move to an area because it's cheap. Um, cheap and high crime often go together, especially if it's not um, a rural area. But in an urban area, um, you know, high crime and uh, low rents often go together. And then, again, routine contact with felons. Uh, you know, anytime you're around people that have criminal history, then you're more likely to be a victim of crime. So that is the idea of deviant place. Notice lots of overlap with lifestyle theory of crime, um, but much more place centered, you know, like you're going to a place or you live in a place or you're around people in a place. So that's the, that's pretty simple to remember. Um, there's a video here. I'll put it up on the lesson. I want you to watch this. It's just two and a half minutes long, but about, it's really the classic wrong time at the wrong place. And it's a woman from a town called Bridgewater, Massachusetts, which happens to be uh, my, my wife's from a town right next to it called East Bridgewater. And so I've actually driven the road that this woman uh, was running on. And she's just running down the road and some nut job like decided to try to throw in a car. And uh, anyway, so you'll watch the video um, and uh, learn from it. All right. Thanks. Bye.